So in this video, we'll be looking at Adobe Reader in a PDF file format. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Microsoft 64 bit. Now, the Adobe Reader is a nice little program that allows you to read content, usually off the internet, but it can also be found when you install programs and other content. So you want to go ahead and make sure you have the latest version of Adobe Reader. I'm going to go ahead and search. I have Adobe Reader 9. That should be. Let's go ahead and type it in. And go ahead. And if you don't have it, go ahead and get the latest version uh, that you have. And I want to make sure I have the latest, so I'm going to go ahead and open mine up. I have Adobe Reader 9, so let's make sure that gets the absolute latest. No, we don't want help. Yeah, no, we don't have the latest. We have Adobe 9. We want 9.1, so let's go ahead and get out of here. So, go ahead and download it. Shouldn't take too long to get the installation. And just go ahead and get that. And so, after updating one of the plugins for Firefox, I'm now going to go ahead and download the program. And um, the Adobe Reader's PDF file format is so universal, you can find it everywhere. And a lot of programs are uh, very compatible with PDF, and you can export a lot of documents in PDF. It's a great way to retain the formatting of your uh, content. For instance, if we were to create a new um, Office document, such as a Word document. We can go ahead and choose from the different Word documents. We just want to pick a simple template. I'm just showing you how you can export this. See how this is a nice formatted piece of document. And we, if we go ahead and save as, we can save as a PDF format. And we can save it here the desktop and I'm gonna show you how well Adobe keeps the formatting of the document I don't want to save it and if we click it it opens up in the Adobe Reader and we see how very nicely the PDF has retained the document. Now, the difference between such a document like this Microsoft Word document or any other type of document is that in a PDF document, nothing can be edited. You can't edit anything in this document. It's, it's not changeable. And this is one reason why a lot of uh, things off the internet, a lot of content of information comes in PDF. If you go ahead and search over the internet, you can find a ton of uh, PDF formats. I don't know, say if we want to type in Microsoft and we do file type uh, PDF and then 
let's do it this way. Okay, so that's done. So like I was saying, if we go here and say we want Microsoft, and we want file type PDF, we can see nothing but PDF files for Microsoft. If we click on this first one, we could go ahead and open it up. It downloads the file. You can close this. And once this download, we can open it. And we see the PDF. It's just a nice way in which content off the internet can be opened up and download. You can read about PDF. So the Adobe Reader, if you notice, if you go to um, the Microsoft 64-bit website, we too also have uh, a uh, we have our outline in PDF format. So let's go to our home page. And if you go ahead and view the outline, which is also formatted in PDF, you can see the list of all the uh, old, past, present and new episodes to come from Microsoft 64 bit and it's a great way for me to just uh, let viewers know uh, episodes that I have and will be doing in the near future and in any web browser you have support for PDFs and when you open a link for a PDF your web browser will automatically change its interface to look more like uh, Adobe Reader you can print and save whatever you're looking at on the internet. Another stuff, you can zoom in, zoom out, and change. You can even find stuff like, if you're familiar with Windows, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Word, or any other office, you can find things and content. So that's really nice. Now we looked at a ton of Office stuff, this service pack, and I do want to let you know that you can also password protect PDF documents as well. Now I'm not sure if uh, Microsoft Word has this feature on it. I don't think so. But I do know that in iWork, Pages 09 and so forth, when you export into PDF, you can password protect it. You can also password protect your Word documents too. So that's a nice little thing. So that's it for this video. We just wanted to take a nice look at Adobe Reader 9 and take a look at uh, it and see what it was about and understand the PDF file format. And if you need to know how to get PDF on your Microsoft Word or your Microsoft Office Suite, simply uh, go to my other video, which I've done, which tells you how to install the PDF in XPS uh, on your system, on your Microsoft Office system. You can go ahead on episode 37 you can go ahead and read about or look about that and watch how to install uh, exporting and PDF and XPS so that's it for this video Adobe Reader 9